Hi, and welcome to SBR Sports Picks. We are the Oz Couple. I'm Peter Lojak. His name is Mike Brenner. Uh, this is the NBA Oz Couple Show for Tuesday, April 4th. Mike Brenner, yesterday, gosh, oh. the NBA is just so yeah, a lot, a lot of one-point losses. It. Mike Brenner and I, I like the first quarter. Yeah, no. we did. Mike Brenner and I like Minnesota at uh, minus two. Actually, I think we got one and a half. They wound yeah. up uh, winning it, by one. By one. Yep. So you get a loss. All right. So and we got a beat there at the end. They had mm-hmm. a couple free throws missed. But you know what? Can't look back, Pete. Yeah. I mean, the basic handicapping factor was that Minnesota is still fighting, which yeah. they are. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The Portland now got that. That was their tenth cover in eleven games. Yeah. Unbelievable. All right, ones, so, I'm okay with it. Like that. yeah, you know, sure, had it been sure. a blowout, might have looked at it a little differently. Yeah, but, yeah. Out of my many, many, many losses uh, this <laughs> year, uh, that was not one of the ones that I'm embarrassed about. <laughs> yeah, go pistol. I, I love. I'm it. like Donald Trump. I've had many, 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 many. losses this That's year. That's right. We're not all right. Tell okay. You about so, uh, so uh, <laughs> let's see, Mike Brenner. We got some interesting stuff going on tonight. We've got uh, wow. Cleveland. I don't know. Cleveland has uh, definitely been slumping ATS. They did get a nice uh, 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 win in OT. Uh, Double OT against yep. Indiana last game, but another ATS game. loss. Mm, yeah. Another ATS loss. So they're now like a two and seven ATS. Let's see, I have it right. Yeah, two and seven yep. ATS over the last nine. Orlando though three and nine ATS over their last twelve. Yeah, I bet the under on this one at two twenty one and a half. I got a really nice number, and now it's down to a two eighteen. I beat think. That uh, move. Yeah. Good job. Or no, no, no. Now it's, it's not. Oh, still two twenty one. Oh, sorry. It was it was the Golden State one that, that moved that I bet. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what's your take on this one? Well, there was a big time shouting match on the court mm-hmm. last yeah. game, Cleveland. Uh, Tristan Thompson and LBJ were going at it and uh, carried on to the sidelines. I think that's going to play in favor of this team tonight because they know it's now. we got to make something look like it's consistent. I think they're going to blow this team out, Pistol Pete. Mm-hmm. I'm pulling the trigger three ways, and I'm not okay, even hesitating. Really? And I'm okay yeah. with it. Yep, first quarter, first half, All full right. game, and Orlando's going well, down. Well, there's no first quarter line as of right now, so we can give you the market opener. Uh, the right. first half is uh, we can give you, uh, let's see, Best Heritage and Intertops, minus five and a half. I love it. I love minus it. Minus five and a half, minus one. Okay, yep. uh, so that means the first quarter line might be three and a half. Sure, sure, and I would be okay with that. What are you looking at? Best right, shot line for, for that the full game? game. Let's see. It's uh, let's see nine and a half and minus one oh eight. Yep, I'm taking it. Minus one oh eight. They got to do it. They got to get it done, and they yeah. need to blow this team out. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of fight with Orlando. And I think the fighting within mm-hmm. uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers is going to answer this one. Look for yeah. Tristan Thompson also to have a big first. Yeah, half. I mean Orlando has been uh, just as bad as, as Cleveland sure ATS wise, so they are uh, blowoutable yep. if anyone is. Yep. All right, so now. Let's move on to another game. It's kind of interesting on. to me. Denver and New Orleans. I don't know if you looked at this mm. one, but uh, uh, you know, uh, Denver is still alive in the playoffs. Yeah, they're one. Uh, I think one or one and a half yeah. games back, and they know they're they got a shot. Right, you know? and 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 the New Orleans, of course, out of it. Danthy Davis a little bit banged, banged up. up, and it's it's a it's a uh, maybe revenge spot if they're still sure. thinking that way for Denver. Yep. Uh, they lost at home by twenty five. They got blown out uh, to New Orleans on March twenty sixth. So yep. uh, you know, is Denver looking to the playoffs? Do they care about a revenge spot against New maybe Orleans? The maybe both. they do. It might be both. Yeah. It would be a nice little combination, Pete. So take I'm that revenge that, factor. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe Denver is a good play here. What do you think? I think AD might get – this is that time of year also, guys, you're going to see coaches sitting people. Sure. Real, you know, so be aware. Uh, I wouldn't pull you off that ledge, mm-hmm. Pete. I'm going to sit back off it. But mm-hmm. I, I, if I had to lean, I'd lean Denver. And I think AD might be uh, uh, pulled out of this game before it even starts. He's yeah. definitely banged up. All right, I'll take him on the first Pull quarter. That I'll take him on the first quarter. There's no line right now. I'll take the market over. There should okay. be uh, about plus a half. You might like be that. pick him. Okay, yep. yeah. Yeah, Denver, they do have a, a definite shot, Pete. They mm-hmm. can get, they see Portland right there in the, in, yeah. you know, right in front of them, baby. All right, let's see what else. All right, let's talk about Minnesota and uh, Golden State. Minnesota, of course, still has some fights to them, though they yeah. are now coming off a, a, of, a, uh, of, an, of an AT. Uh, sorry, of a, uh, of a back to back, right? Yeah. And uh, Golden State, again, is has been a massive under trender recently. I did bet this one uh, on the under at, uh, okay. at 220 and a half, and now it's it's, uh, let's see what is it that is. The one that yeah. dipped down to That's the one that dipped down. Now it's up down to 218 or 218 and a half mark, although the Greek still has 219. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. What's your take on that one, if well, anything? I- I'm not doing anything in that mm-hmm. game. Uh, Minnesota, again, they've got nothing to lose. Golden State, I think they're going to try to, you know, just keep the rhythm going so yeah. they don't lose because, what, 11 in a row they won. This mm-hmm. team's starting to click. They don't want to lose that that momentum, but I don't see them pouring it on. So for me, Pistol Pete, I- I'm just staying the hell off of that one. What All would right. be the best shot first line uh, for the first half? For the first half, just, it just would out be of curiosity. Uh, eight and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, half off off it. Yeah. Stay off it. Stay off it. All right, I'll I'll throw the the under on there. Okay. What the hell? I Pull got it at two twenty trigger. and a half. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you the Greek, beat the, the line Greek is uh, here according to uh, SBR odds. The Greek is still hanging two nineteen. So I'll take that one okay. under two nineteen. Good job, pistol. One, one, what the hell? All right. Uh, what else do you have for us, Mike? Well, Brenner? I like this one. I like Oklahoma City. Mm. Um, you know, <laughs> they got to do something. They they're coming off that loss, and I know that uh, Westbrook is setting all kinds of individual records. And he said that at the end of the day, that is not important to me. You know, I want this
KC figure out uh, their woes mm-hmm. against a very slow starting Milwaukee mm-hmm. team. Well, that line has definitely uh, moved up. It was four and a half on the yeah. overnight. I had no opinion on that one. Now it's five or five and a half okay. market wide. All right. So How about that got? first half in the first quarter? All right, the first quarter, again, we'll give you the market opener. There's okay. no line right now. And the first half for OKC would be three minus Ooh, 107. I love it. And I'm thinking the quarter would be about minus one or one and a half. And I'll take it either yeah, way. Maybe two, but I'd whatever. Yeah, go yeah, with yeah, two yeah, for yeah, sure. Probably two. Yeah, what do you no. think on that, Pete? Any thoughts? Milwaukee? Uh, you know, they definitely got the line move is is, is, is very encouraging. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm thinking that you're probably yeah on the right side there. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, yeah, both these teams have been sluggish recently. Uh, ATS. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's like is is Washington going to? Gonna, uh, I'm sorry, is uh, is OKC, is OKC going to bounce back here or and or, they need or to. not? They can't be losing in the position. Yeah. Also for the playoffs, so I like that. I'm going to pull that trigger two ways. All right. Goal. What else do you have, Mike? Brad? I got one other one, and All I right. think it's going to be a sharp spot. Mm-hmm. You got the Bulls at the Knicks. Yeah. Right? Here's the bottom line. You know what? I'm going to blow your mind here, Pete. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, with salaries. All right. Yeah. Derrick Rose shut down now. He's done. He came there for one year, played 64 games. He makes $21.3 million mm-hmm. this year. That's $333,000 yep. every time his shoes touch the floor mm-hmm. this year. 18 points per game, four rebounds, four assists. Shot 47% from the field. Okay, yep. that's, that's okay. 21% from three-point land, but... Are you fucking kidding me, Pete? Excuse my language, Mom. Yeah. But but thirty three hundred and thirty three thousand every game. Well, I mean that's just the way that. Uh, I know. Yeah, I just had to I mean, get that I mean, out there. Yeah, Pete. it's it's just. I mean, in, in, in most teams, uh, the people who are the most valuable are not necessarily the uh, highest. You know paid, what right? though? It's just these players, these overvalued players, at times cost us. You know, a lot of bets. They become a determining factor now and again on cash and tickets. But I think the Bulls are seven and three ATS their last ten. All right, they won six out of seven straight up. They're in that spot. They know they can absolutely mm-hmm. you know get things. Things done. They're uh, chasing Miami, I believe it is, mm-hmm. or in that yeah, fight yeah. with them. Um, I, the Knicks are a mess. They're a mess, and uh, Mello, he's going to be playing, but I don't see him doing too much. And with Derrick Rose out, it takes away that 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 rivalry against his old team. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to give me the best shop line on the first half and the full game with them Chicago Bulls. Jimmy Butler going to get it done in Rondo. First half and the full game on the Chicago Bulls. Yeah. Uh, all right, okay. So the full game uh, would be three and a half minus one hundred and five. That. That's at the Chris books. We can give you that one. And uh, let's see the first half on the Bulls. We can give you. You uh, minus one, minus one, eleven. That's a pinnacle. I really like that, Pete. They know that they uh, they have a chance, so they're mm-hmm. going to have to come out and just establish the pace here. And, and they know New York's got nothing to play for, so I think they're going to just try to put them down early. I don't think you're going to see a lot of uh, uh, people mm-hmm. in the seats at mm-hmm. the Garden, and uh, I think this is a good spot for Chicago to get another one. Okay, sounds good, Mike. How Brenner? about you? What are you thinking about that? About nothing? that game? Yeah. No, I was just thinking about uh, about uh, the correlation between a uh, pay and value to okay. uh, teams and companies, and yeah. I was, uh, you know okay. had some. Uh, inter- Internal issues uh, well, for a couple of seconds there. While okay, you I was were, wondering, uh, yeah, I thought yeah, you yeah. went to the Bahamas there for a minute. <laughs> I swear to God, Pistol. But now, guess what? It makes yeah, sense. It, it, <laughs> I did. Yeah. It makes All right, sense. Mike Brenner. Uh, another one. Uh, Brooklyn and Philadelphia. <laughs> this is an interesting one, right? Yeah. Uh, you might think that uh, there's not much interest in this game, but there actually has been a line move. Uh, yeah. uh, well, Philly they just was played like a week ago. Yes, too. I was that's on right. It. Philly was the favorite, and that was one where I actually uh, cashed on the under. I had yep. a call on that one. Uh, Philly was the favorite. Now it's moved uh, pretty significantly, not significantly, but but a clear move in favor of Brooklyn. They're now the favorite. Minus one or one and a half. That I might be a telling move. Injury, uh, related. No, I think that might be just money related. Money. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, thinking about maybe a tail in that move. Yeah, you know I what? Know. I will do that. Do I will pull tail that, that trigger. Move. I'll tail Brooklyn. I'll take them a minus one, minus one ten. Brooklyn on the road. Uh, minus yeah, one, one over 10. Philadelphia. That's basically just a, a tail yeah. that line. Okay. That looks like it's uh, might be driven by uh, by sharp and money. Again, there. Lopez said we're not. I'm not mm-hmm. letting these young guys give up. Hell no. Our season just you know literally he's not going to let it end that way. So yeah. Also weirdly the first game as I said I had I had the call in the under and it opened. At about uh, 219 or 220, and I took a shot with the under on that one as well. Now it's up to 223, 224 Ooh. at Bet DSI. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, some of these teams some might stuff. be getting loose right now. Yeah, Pete, nothing yeah. more. They literally they see the end of the season, they yeah. see some rest, they see the beach, they see a cold beer. Yeah. They yeah. might just be defense could be optional. Yeah. But all right, Mike Brenner, what do you what, what, what else it. you have? That's, That's it all for I you. Got, but okay. I'm going to review them yeah, again. Review. We're going with the Cavs for the first quarter, the first half, and the full game. I got the game at nine and a half and the half at minus five and a half. Quarter should be about minus three or three and a half. Oklahoma City Thunder for the first half minus three. Got the first uh, quarter probably be about minus one and a mm-hmm. half or two. And then to wrap it up, we're going to go with those Chicago Bulls minus one mm-hmm. on the first half, minus three and a half on the full game as they move closer to the playoffs. That's right. The got them the, fired up. The theme of today's show is that uh, compensation <laughs> and value not very heavily correlated. The correlation, Anywhere yes. you look in life. That's All right, Mike right. Brenner, I, uh, I guess that's about it for uh, the Tuesday card. We will be back with the Wednesday card tomorrow. We will. Thanks, everybody, for all of your support. SBR, um, hashtag Ask SBR, sharpest tool in the industry, odds couple, coming to you, baby. 
Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.